to my channel. So in this video, it is not going to be a makeup tutorial. It is not going to be makeup related. It is going to be all about how terrible my skin was to how it is now. Okay, it is no secret at this point that I have really, really, really bad skin. And when I say bad skin, I mean I do have acne and as well as I do suffer from really bad like post acne scars on my face. You'll see like I have insane like acne marks on like my cheek area and a little bit on my chin. Recently, if you guys have been noticing and you guys actually have been noticing, especially on Instagram, um, that my acne marks have really, really faded away very quickly because it's, I think it's only been like about a month or so. So I'm going to be sharing with you guys what has helped me and hopefully it helps you guys who are also struggling with acne marks. I will just say just please Please be kind in this video because I am going to be showing you guys photos of like before and after of my face, completely bare face. And acne marks have been something that I have been very, very insecure about. I'm still a little insecure about it. Not as much, definitely. But just please be kind and please be sensitive because I am kind of putting myself out there. So I'm going to show you guys the two products that has literally saved my skin and faded out my marks drastically. And it is from Drunk Elephant. I know Drunk Elephant is pretty pricey, but it does work. And this was actually the first time I've ordered anything from Drunk Elephant. And I just kind of bit the bullet and I'm like, you know what? If I'm going to invest in anything, I'm going to invest in my skin. And I did wait about a month and a half to f even film this video when I purchased it because I really wanted to test it out and tell you guys whether or not I think it's worth you spending your hard-earned money on it because again, they are pricey. So the first thing I have been using from Drunk Elephant is this and this is the A Passiony Retinol Cream. This has been life-changing for me. The retinol cream, if you guys know anything about retinol, it does make your skin peel. I will say if you have never used retinol ever on your skin, Follow these directions. Do not go on your own and do your own thing. I've never used retinol cream and this was the first time I ever used it. And they do recommend you use it every other day. Make sure you're skipping one day. So the way I've been using this is I don't put it on during the day. I would go throughout my day, come home, shower, and then I'll put this on my skin. And I don't actually spread it on my entire face. I'll just kind of put it on the areas where I have my marks. So it's usually right here where I put most of the product, a little bit on my chin and a little bit on my forehead, and I'll just go to sleep. The next day I won't use it and then the following day I'll apply it. So again, it's every other day that I'm using it. And it does, I mean, I would recommend you use a sunscreen the following day just to make sure your skin isn't getting any type of damage. I don't use a sunscreen, which I know isn't good, but I would personally recommend you use sunscreen when you're out during the day. Um, the second thing that I have been using from Drunk Elephant is another peel, and it is the TLC Sakari Baby Facial. This. This is like crap. <laughs> like, I don't know how else to explain it. This is literally like a... Uh, a chemical peel but it's not as harsh but it definitely peels the shit out of your skin so the way that they recommend you use it is to only use it once a week for me whatever off day that i'm not applying the retinal cream i'll go in with this only once a week and only keep this on your face for 20 minutes so again the way you apply it is you would apply it you can apply it all over your face, but I, again, just apply it on my cheeks, my forehead, as well as my chin. It's like a mask. You leave it on for 20 minutes only. You are going to have a little bit of, like, a tingling sensation. And then it'll go away after a while, but it's a bit intense at first. But, again, it goes away. And once your 20 minutes are up, just wash it off with, like, warm water. And then go in with a moisturizer. And what I love about this as well, it comes with a little mini version of their facial oil. And again, this is a pump if you are wondering, so you don't have to like pour anything out, which is really nice. So I love the fact that they sell this together and it's a little bit of a set. I know it's small, but it's still really worth it because again, Drunk Elephant is so expensive. So I'll go in with this wait for my 20 minutes, and then apply, kind of just tap this onto my skin to give that moisture back in. Also, another moisturizer that I have been using because when you're using any type of peel on your skin, again, your skin is going to feel so, so dry. So I also purchased the Lala Retro Whipped Cream. So it comes like this, and then you just, um, like, kind of, pump it out like this and the product comes out that way. So what I have been doing is when I go in with any of these products right immediately 
after I'll go in with these. I actually mix these two together. So I'll take maybe like two palms of the oil and then I'll take a little bit of the whipped cream, just kind of mix them together and just tap it into my skin. I'm going to show you guys here before and after picture. So this is the before picture. And this is what my skin looked like, raw, no filter, no smoothing, no nothing. And this photo was taken January 12th. This was the first time that I started to use it, so obviously nothing had happened, but this is how bad, basically, my skin was. And then a couple, like, weeks after, this photo was taken, which was taken on February 17th, which was a couple days ago. And this is the drastic difference of what my skin now looks like without any type of makeup or anything. I mean, you can definitely see that there are still a couple of marks there left, but it's nowhere near compared to what it was on January. So obviously you can tell within a month, it's been a drastic change within my face. Normally, if you're trying to get rid of any type of acne marks, it literally takes years. And I mean like people use coconut oil, people use Murad, and nothing has worked. And I personally use both and those things have not worked for me ever. So Drunk Elephant, if you are watching this, thank you so much for creating these good products because they have saved my life and they boosted my confidence, honestly, without having any type of makeup on. Really quickly, something else I've also been doing is I know you guys are going to roll your eyes because when I hear people say this, I always roll my eyes like really, really, but I'm telling you, it does actually play a, a big role in my skin and it has been drinking more water. So what I have been doing is I have actually been drinking four bottles of water every single day. I mean, I definitely do pee like every two minutes, but the combination of drinking a lot more water, staying away from sweets and only having it once in a while, as well as combining it with the drunk elephant stuff, it's really, really, really really been helping my skin. There are just two more things that I want to show you guys. So within that month span, obviously I have gotten pimples. What I have been using is when I get any type of acne is this Clinique Acne Solution. I know it's so tiny. I actually got it in a sample from Sephora. But what I would do is wherever there's a little bit of a pimple, I'll just take a little bit of this and just dab it right on top of the pimple. And I'll just go to bed and I'll do that for about two days straight. So it literally just dries out that little Little area of the pimple and within two days the pimple is actually gone so it's kind of preventing me from wanting to like you know squeeze it because by a day or two it's already really really dry there's nothing to squeeze and the last thing that I'm going to recommend is a scrub and let me tell you guys this scrub I just I love it so much it not only feels good on my skin but it tastes delicious and I'm going to link everything down below in the description box like I normally do it's the oatmeal face scrub let me tell you guys my skin is still currently peeling I don't know if you'll be able to tell on camera but my forehead looks crazy even though I have foundation on but when my skin is peeling I would apply this in the shower and scrub all of that dead skin off and what I love about this like oatmeal face scrub is that it does not dry your skin out. It actually moisturizes your skin because it does have coconut oil in it as well. So that's basically what I have been using for my skin. And I'm telling you, it has made such a drastic change for me in regards to my marks. So again, just to kind of really quickly recap, I drink a lot more water. I don't really eat a lot of sweets. I do eat sweets, but not as often. And the drunk elephant stuff have done wonders. If there's anything that you should ever get if you struggle from acne marks, it's definitely these two. The combination of these two together are just wonderful. Just make sure you follow the directions to a T. So comment down below, DM me on Instagram, whatever you guys like. Let me know if you guys are gonna purchase any of the Drunk Elephant stuff. Let me know how your progress is going. I would love to hear that because honestly, trust me when I say I understand the struggle of having acne marks and being so insecure that you don't want to walk out of your house without having foundation on. I am slowly getting there and I am slowly becoming a little bit more confident in my skin. But yeah, I hope this video was helpful for any of you guys who are struggling with this and are watching this right now. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!